Hi everyone. No doubt some animals are simply adorable. So cute and fluffy, you just really want to pet them. Well, or at least just admire them from a distance. But baby animals are even cuter. When you look at them, you might even experience cuteness overload, and some of them seem to defy all laws of nature. But first things first, today you're going to see some cute and charming baby animals. Let's get it on. Giant Panda Pandas are unique animals. They belong to the bear family, but are considered herbivorous because in most cases they prefer bamboo to any other food. In the wild, pandas live only in China. These animals are regarded as one of the symbols of the country. Half of all panda births result in twins. However, it's very rare for both cubs to survive, as giant pandas almost always abandon a cub because they can't produce enough milk for both of them. Baby pandas are very tiny, blind, toothless, and weigh from 90 to 130 grams. For comparison, an adult giant panda weighs from 70 to 125 kilograms. Of course, many cubs are born very small and weak, but baby pandas are especially vulnerable. Some scientists believe the reason for that is hibernation. Pandas, like other bears have learned to control their pregnancy so that it doesn't overlap with the hibernation period. However, all bear cubs are born strong enough, unlike baby pandas. It is still unknown what the reason behind this drastic difference in size is. Of course, there are different theories, but pandas are not very willing to breed in captivity, and so it's quite difficult to study their newborn cubs. Turtle there are several species of sea turtles, but they all have common features. First, they live in water, and second, they have a similar reproduction sequence. Sea turtles use beaches and the lower dunes to nest and lay their eggs. Typically, they do it at night and away from the tide line. Most females deposit eggs only once every three to four years. Yes, turtles are very thoughtful about the breeding process. One clutch may contain about a hundred eggs, and the incubation period can last up to two months. When it's over, small turtles hatch from the eggs and immediately rush to the water. Alas, not all of them survive. Some of the babies die along the way, hunted by birds. Birds. But even in the sea, turtles can't feel safe. Scientists estimate that out of a thousand babies, only half a dozen reach adulthood and can produce offspring. The reason for that is predatory fish and human activity. For example, turtles often get entangled in the nets of crab catchers and die. Giraffe the giraffe's pregnancy lasts from 400 to 460 days, after which one cub is usually born, although in rare cases there may be twins. During childbirth, the female giraffe is actually standing, but a baby giraffe can't stand on its own yet. No wonder, few baby animals are born ready to behave like an adult. However, like many undulates, giraffes grow up very quickly. A few hours after birth, the baby can not only stand, but also run. However, during the first one to three weeks, he spends most of his time in hiding. During this time, the pattern on their skin gradually changes, and the giraffe learns to blend in with the surrounding environment. He still stays close to his mother, as well as with other females and cubs. Adult males play almost no role in raising the young giraffes, although they are friendly to them. Koala Just as pandas are one of the symbols of China, koalas are one of the symbols of Australia. These strange herbivores, which look like a mix of a bear, a wombat, and some unknown plush toy from a supermarket, are popular all over the world. However, few people know how koalas are born. The gestation period of this animal lasts from 33 to 35 days. After that, one cub is born, or rather, a not yet fully developed cub. Like all marsupials, koalas are born underdeveloped and weigh only half a gram. However, their lips, forelegs and shoulders are relatively well developed, and certain body systems already function. A newborn koala climbs into her mother's pouch, where it continues to grow. Baby kangaroos are born in a similar fashion. When a baby koala is 26 weeks old, it's already sticking its head out of the pouch, and six to seven months after birth, the little koala first gets out of the pouch. At this moment, the cub weighs from 300 to 500 grams. When the baby is nine months old, it's already riding on its mother's back, climbing branches, eating eucalyptus, and looking incredibly cute. Sloth 
Probably the weirdest animals in today's video are sloths. No, seriously, have you seen them? They look like evolution gone wrong. Slow, strange creatures that spend most of their lives hanging from trees, upside down, and they're completely fine with it. Depending on the species, sloth pregnancy lasts from 6 to 12 months, and by the end of it, a single baby sloth is born that stays with the mother for the next 5 months. Sometimes baby sloths die from falling from a tree because their mothers don't come down to retrieve them. We can't really blame them. Imagine how long it would take to travel down the trunk. Those sloths who manage to hang on learn everything from their mother. For example, the baby sloths lick the mother's lips to find out which food is edible. Again, depending on the species, it could be fruit, insects, small lizards, and even carrion, or just leaves. Anteater Anteaters are no doubt at the top of the weird animals list. Seriously, they're basically tree climbing vacuum cleaners. Okay, actually not all anteaters climb trees. Giant anteaters, whose size ranges from 182 to 217 centimeters, prefer to stay on the ground. They are really large animals that not every tree could hold. The pregnancy of a female giant anteater lasts about 190 days, after which one pup is born. Like many other baby animals, anteaters are born blind and open their eyes only a week later. During the first month of their lives, the pups feed on milk but gradually switch to solid food. Well, not quite solid, they start eating insects. Through all this time, they ride on their mother's backs, and their own color merges with that of the females in a cunning way, like a built-in disguise. At 9 or 10 months old, the young anteaters become completely independent, and at 2 and a half years old, they are ready to reproduce themselves. Seahorse at the beginning of the video, we said we'd be talking about cute animals, but perhaps seahorses are not one of them. Sure, they're very funny and unusual, but you can't exactly pick them up and scratch them behind the ears. To be honest, we doubt they have ears at all. However, baby seahorses definitely deserve your attention, mostly because they're carried by the males. There's a special pouch on the belly or front-facing side of the future daddy seahorses. When mating, the female seahorse deposits up to 1,500 eggs into to it, which the male carefully carries. This can last from 9 to 45 days until fully developed seahorses emerge from it. Fully developed, but quite tiny. The birth process of these small seahorses is nothing like the usual childbirth. The males shoot their offspring off as if from a cannon, and that's where their parental duties end. <laughs> The baby seahorses are then on their own. They have to deal with predators, ocean currents. No wonder that less than half of a percent of seahorses survive until adulthood. Alpaca Friendly, slightly timid, and very soft alpacas are often mistaken for llamas. So if an alpaca-like animal tries to spit at or bite you, it's not an alpaca. You better step away. The fact that alpacas are sometimes rented for wedding photo shoots proves how cute they truly are. And what could be more charming than the most charming creature? Of course, it's cub. The alpaca pregnancy lasts on average 11 and a half months, resulting in the birth of one Kriya. That is the name given to baby llamas llamas, alpacas, and similar animals. In about half an hour, the baby alpacas can stand on their own, and two weeks after giving birth, the mother alpaca is receptive to breeding again. At six months old, the Korea don't need their mother's milk anymore and become independent. However, like people, each alpaca is quite unique. Salamander if you love reading fantasy books, then when you hear salamander, you probably think of a mythical lizard that can live in fire. In reality, of course, things are a bit different. Salamanders are amphibians that look like lizards. Most of them have a rather boring appearance, and it's unlikely that you'll pay any attention to a salamander if it runs somewhere nearby in the grass. Unlike many other animals on our planet, salamanders can produce offspring both by laying eggs and live birth. Everything more or less depends on their species, and let's say thank Thank you to modern technologies. You can monitor the entire process of a small salamander being formed. You know, all this cell division which you probably learned in school, but have already happily forgotten. Psst, 
Dude, are you looking for new technologies and great gadgets? Are your thoughts focused on the future? Do you love huge vehicles and can't imagine your life without robots around you? Then visit TechZone and you'll find all this and more. The link is in the description. You interested? Great.